the nail, the nail was still in the wall, okay? Welcome back to my channel. So I know a lot of my friends who watch my videos have asked me to make a part two of our spooky things that happened to me video. But a lot of things hadn't happened. That's why I hadn't filmed it yet. But lately it's like this house is a hodgepodge for activity. Like stuff happens all the time now. I don't know why. And it's also raining cats and dogs outside. Not for real, Gambit. Not for real. It's, it's, he is stressed because it is storming like crazy outside right now. So I figured like what better time to film this than now that the sky is falling outside. So I think the last thing we left off on that happened when I filmed that was how the lights in my room will turn on. Like that was what was happening when I filmed that video was that was the only thing that I've, I, I had experienced was I would leave my room or turn everything off at night and then wake up and the lights would be on. Then I'm just like, I didn't turn them on. My door was locked all day or when it happens at night, it was locked all night. Nobody came into my room, but my lights were on. So that was that. I chopped it up to something being faulty. I don't know, I was trying to explain it away. <laughs> now, if you hear Gambit, he's over here on the other couch freaking out because it's storming. But yeah, speaking of Gambit, Chelsea recently bought a camera so she can watch him because now he doesn't stay in the crate during the day while we're at work. He stays just like in her, in her room. So she got a little camera so we could kind of like spy on him, make sure he's behaving. And the camera goes off anytime there's movement detected. So let's say Gambit is walking around, the, ga the camera will beep on her phone and tell her that he's moving around so she can go see what he's doing. <laughs> he just sneezed. Um, but yeah, so she got that camera and there was a day she's, we weren't home and she's sending me Snapchats saying, hey, like, are you in my room? Are you home? Because the camera in my room is going off and Gambit wasn't in there. Oh no, I was home. Cause I was with him here in the living room. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, sorry. I remembered that incorrectly, but I came home early. So I was home early and Gambit and I were here on in this seat in the couch, like in the living room. And her room is over there. And she's sending me messages like, hey, are you in my room? And I'm just like, no. And I'm sending her Snapchats like, me and Gambit are snuggling on the couch. Like we're, we're just on the couch watching TV. And she's like, I'm getting like movement detected in my room. And I'm like, well, I'll go over there and see. And I'm pretty sure I still have like the conversation. I screenshotted it for this purpose. So I can show y'all that we were having this conversation. If I find the pictures, I'm gonna put them right here. But she was like, there's somebody in my room. And I'm like, girl, nobody's home. It's just me and Gambit and we're sitting on the couch. And I even like went into her room and I snapped, like recorded it. I'm like, walking into your room, like no one here. And when I was in there, of course, it detected me in there. So it's not like the detection thing is broken. So that was really creepy because nobody else was in the house, but the camera kept going off in that room and nobody was in there. That was scary. Um, another thing that happened was Chelsea was out for a walk with Gambit at night before bed. And she kept hearing like, somebody laughing right was somebody laughing like maniacal laughing like it was like the type of laughter you hear in horror movies like when something's about to pop out like it was it was unsettling like it yes. was unsettling. and gambit kept looking around like trying to figure out where it was coming from and it was like one two o'clock in the morning like we were just on the final walk of the night getting ready for bed and i was like halfway down the block and you just hear this maniacal like 
child laugh. And I'm it was just, a child laugh? Like, it was like high pitched. I thought like, it was like, you know, like a grown up. No, it was, it was a child. That's it was creepy. Like high pitched. No, like, I don't like it. And I'm looking around and there's kids on our block, but not at that part. Like, there's no kids right in these They're houses. also never outside after dark. Yeah. That was thunder. <laughs> ah, I'm so okay. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, that's really <laughs> scary. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. You're fine. He has a little thunder shirt. He's so cute. I love the blankets. He has all the blankets. <laughs> but yeah, so it was it was just really unsettling. That's and Gambi scary. was reacting like he didn't know where the sound was coming from. And he kept like pulling in the direction where there's no there was nobody home. There was no cars in the driveway. There was no anything in the two That's houses. Creepy. And and right behind those houses is a lake. So there's just no There's nothing there. There's, there's like, nothing. Like it, it was, was, was weird for it to come laugh. from that area, yeah. And she's texting me the whole time and I'm just like uh and I'm looking out the window, I don't see anything. And then when I got further down the block it was the the chanting, remember? Oh my god, you guys <laughs> the chanting. Oh. I can't believe I forgot about this. This this was going on for like weeks. Mm -hmm. For like weeks. It would be like random times like 9 p.m. like 1 in the morning, 3 in the morning like weird intervals like this. And it was just chanting and like beating on drums and it was coming from like areas where there's no houses in our neighborhood. So I'm just like, where, where is this coming from? Like at first we thought it was like someone's backyard, but then it sounded like a little further than that. I don't know. It was so weird, but we heard this for so many days, this weird like drum circle and chanting thing. So the day that she heard that laughing, as she got further down the street, she started hearing the chanting. That was creepy. I hated going out at night because every night it was something weird and i could never i tried really hard to listen to the chanting like what language it was it didn't sound like english it didn't sound like spanish i don't know what it was it didn't, uh, we're used to a lot of creole it didn't sound like creole it, nothing it, it didn't sound... sound like any language that we know that so that we could basically explain it away like oh it's just like a celebration or somebody is doing something cultural i don't know but we couldn't understand the words at all so that was terrifying we heard that so many days in a row and if you know me you know that i always go outside before i go to bed i always spend a few like maybe like 20 minutes just outside in the fresh air you know i just always get fresh air before going to bed and i used to hear that so many times oh my god she was so creepy and then it just like stopped out of nowhere it was so weird and we live in this very safe neighborhood like it's a family oriented area it's very quiet and no one parties no one it's just very silent it was and weird safe. so it was weird like i'm telling you it's usually so quiet at night that we just hear farm animals at night when we walk but this, like for a few days it was just chanting and that was around the same time that we kept hearing the fireworks every single night i don't know if any of y'all heard that around you but i know when i was tweeting about it that was like a trending topic that everybody was hearing fireworks at the same time that's a whole nother story for a whole nother day but it, it was around that same time that was like what may late may mm -hmm. yeah that yeah. was around may but yeah, so that was really creepy. And then this one, oh my God. I didn't want to talk about this one in the house, but we can't go outside because it's raining. But, oh my gosh, it still gives me like chills. Mm -hmm. I was in bed, like we were all in bed already. And I kept hearing like bangs on the wall. But our walls are thin, so if I'm in bed and let's say I have to pee really bad and I jump out of bed and run to the bathroom, Chelsea's gonna hear that as like really loud sounds in her room. So the first thing I did was message her and I said, oh my God, was that you? And she, she was like, I didn't get anything back from her. Like she was dead asleep. And I was like, yo, I hear bangs in my room. Like 
it sounded like if somebody like my you y'all have seen my room tour right like you've seen my bed is in it's like caddied in one corner it sounded like somebody was hitting the wall like over here but from the bathroom like just like i don't want to hit the wall because that's ray's room back there but it, it was crazy like i was just like is that you like what are you doing like is it gambit and it wasn't her obviously because she's again dead asleep and gambit sleeps with me and so we were both alcohol exactly like if, if they were awake like she would have answered me and then i hear like look I'm, I'm gonna drop this empty juice bottle that was here so i have a back scratcher on my little white table that's next to the door that leads out of my room i had a back scratcher sitting on there and i just hear I just hear you well that was so not dramatic because you can't hear it but basically it just falls like off the table like <laughs> we're trying to recreate it I can't even recreate it but like I'm I don't know how to explain to you like this is the table the back scratcher was in the middle of the table like it wasn't gonna fall like you have to deliberately like push it off the table and it literally just smacks on the floor i almost peed myself guys and i'm like frantically texting her like yo like oh my god what was that did you hear that something just fell in my room like i'm not moving i'm still in bed like i always hear stuff or feel things but it's never been that physical like for me in my face like never i could i i've heard stuff fall away from me in that another time room in the old house with the picture yeah like <sighs> with the picture between our rooms and we wouldn't leave oh my god <laughs> i'm crying oh my god like like i said like we have experienced this before but never while we're in that room like the last time I experienced something like this. It was when we still lived in our old house. We were sitting watching TV and I'm, I'm pretty sure I told you guys about like when my shampoo fell in the bathroom and all that stuff. But there is another, we had a little hallway too, just like we do in this house where our doors are there and there's a little hallway in the bathroom. Like it was our little wing of the house, just like this one. And we had a little picture, a Beauty and the Beast picture, mm -hmm. like framed in glass on the wall and we just heard it like slam and everything shatters and it was on there sturdy it was not gonna fall the nail was still in the wall the nail was still in the wall <laughs> the nail the nail was still in the wall okay so the picture how did it fall like what picked up the frame and dropped it like so that was like that's like the scariest it's gotten for us but this happened while I'm in the room. Like, my stuff just felt like I almost. <sighs> that was scary. <laughs> that was tip of the iceberg. And, oh my gosh. what Last night. Last night, which is what made me say, oh, I think we really need to make a video about this now. Last night, I was sitting outside because, as usual, I always sit outside and get fresh air before bed. And I don't know if you, if you've seen part one of the spooky things that's ever happened to me, if you haven't like pause this and go look at it, go watch it. But there was this crazy like screaming sound in the sky. I don't know where it was coming from, where we were freaking out. I'll, I'll try to put a clip here if I can. If not, then I couldn't figure it out and just go click on the other video, okay? But, <laughs> um, but that is the sound that I heard last night. Again, I know we were talking like maybe it could be a cow or an uh, animal of some sort. I don't know. But that's the sound that I heard. So at first, I didn't freak out because we've heard it before and a lot of people in the comments were telling me maybe it's an animal like it's probably one of the cows in the farm next to you or something so that's how i'm controlling my fear at that point i'm just like okay it's not something scary it's just a cow i'm just gonna say it's a cow and then i hear it again but this time it didn't sound like it usually did it like it you like like how we normally hear it. it didn't sound like how we're used to hearing that sound 
It sounded like human, like if a person was trying to imitate the sound. But the sound, the original sound, sounded really far away. Like I tried to record it for you guys, like, but I couldn't even pick it up on audio because it sounded like way across the lake. But then when I heard it again, it sounded like right behind my house, like to the right of the house where the, where the trash cans are and stuff. And I was like, nope, nope, nope. I ran inside so fast. Oh my God, that just reminded me. <laughs> I ran inside so fast. I said, no, I don't know. Like if, if it was something paranormal, it's terrifying. If it was a person messing with me, terrifying. Like there's no way around this not being scary. Do you remember it was not long after the laugh? It was like a week later when I heard, when I came running back inside to you and Ray with Gambit because I heard that blood curdling scream yes! from the other cul-de-sac. Oh, oh my God, it reminded oh me gosh, of gosh, yes. <laughs> okay, so what were we watching? Like Fix Her Up or something. Or something. Like that. And I had gone out with and Gambit alone. Even Ray was out here and Ray is usually not out here with us. Like we, all three of us were just watching television, but I think I was eating. So I stayed like, I stayed inside with Ray while Chelsea went and took Gambit out to pee just really quick before bed. And she came running back in the house saying she heard like one of those like high pitched screams, like, like horror movie screams. Like someone screaming for help scream. Not actually the word help, but like, like I just blood saw blood curdling, like, like you just saw ghosts scream. It, it was kind of, I feel like you heard the scream that I heard mm -hmm. in the dorms. Yeah. Like that's like, that's like it, the way you describe it. That's how it sounded. For me, of all people, to run from down the block back into this house, like Gambit was panting, I was pant. Like we ran back into this house, and I don't run with Gambit because he gets overly excited and like yeah. To jump on Gambit, you. we're teaching him how to go for runs because he doesn't know that it's just like a light jog. Gambit just like gallivants and gallops everywhere he knows i'm talking about him he's looking at me but we ran like that scream on set like it unnerved me like i was like that was somebody Terrifying. like or something and it was in the cul-de-sac next to us because we have the end of yeah. the, the dead end cul-de-sac on the yeah. other side of us oh that my was... god that i when you said scream that shit just popped Terrifying. into my head like so scary it was very scary and then this morning <laughs> This morning, like, we were leaving to go to a chiropractor appointment. That wasn't existing. We were leaving to go to a chiropractor appointment, and I'm walking down the driveway, and there's just, like, a dead bird on my driveway. Now, you've seen my driveway in other videos. Like, the trees are off to the sides of the house. Like, there's nothing close to, the, the like, the middle of the driveway. There's nothing. There's no trees, no bushes, nothing. So, like, the bird didn't fall out of the tree. Now, obviously, like, a animal, an animal could have been eating it and dropped it or one of the cats because we have a lot of cats outside. Like, it's very possible. Like, it's, ve it's there's very logical explanations for how this dead bird could have got on the driveway. However, comma. Ew. <laughs> Gamma just licked her face. My nostril. <laughs> However, it's just creepier considering all of the things that we have been hearing and feeling in the house and around the house and it's like very the omen neighborhood -like. it's exactly like it just feels like a bad omen because of all the other things that are happening if it was just that that happened on its own i would think like oh darn like an animal did this but i don't know it's just so creepy i'm that's pretty much everything that's been happening Besides, like, Gambit staring into space where nothing is and barking at it and just staring and looking back at us and staring at it. Like, you don't see it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, he gives you this look, like, how do you not see the thing that is there? Look, I don't know what's going on. I'm not sure that I want to know. I'm upset that... I'm upset that I even had to film this video inside the house because I was planning on filming it outside and it started pouring. But 
I'm just putting this out there for anything that is in or around my home. You are not welcome. Can you go, please? Go see the light. Do something. Go away. We are about love and light in this house. That is it. We don't want anything else in here. Please stop scaring my dog. Please stop scaring me when I'm trying to sleep. I don't know. What do you guys think is going on? What do you, what do you think is happening? Please let me know in the comments. Have you experienced anything like this? What do you think is going on here? I don't know because we try to be all about positive and positive energy. So I'm not sure what's attracting these things. I don't know if it's attracted to the to the place or to us. Us. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I think it's us because we are experiencing it in other places, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our next video. Thanks for getting spooky with me. And Gambit farted. Gambit farted. So, bye. <laughs>